house praise God. Let all the pastors in the house praise God. Let every family represented here praise God. Open your mouth and begin to praise God tonight because our God is gracious. Our God is full of compassion. Our God is merciful. Our God is loving. Our God is caring. Our God is wonderful. Open your mouth and begin to appreciate God tonight. Let's lift up our voices and say, God, Lord, we are grateful unto you, God. You kept us in the month of January. You kept us in the month of February. You oh. kept us in the month of March. You kept us in the month of April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and this is December. Open your mouth and begin to appreciate God. Look at the journey of this 2023 alone. God has been so precious. God is good. Open your mouth and bless him tonight. Let's worship God. Let's adore him. Let's begin to praise him tonight and say, Father, we are grateful. Oh, Lord, oh, God, in particular, I'm grateful. Lord, personally, I am grateful. I'm grateful unto you, God of heaven. You have kept me by your grace and power all through, oh, God, my Father. He did not allow the arrows of the wicked to copy me. He did not allow the sacrifice of the Egyptian to claim my life. He did not allow the Egyptian to destroy my life. Oh, Lord, I want to praise you tonight. Oh, God, I want to appreciate you. Thank you once again, oh, God of heaven. Lord, you are good. God, you are good. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. In that verse 1, he said, praise ye the Lord. Praise him. Praise God. In a sanctuary. Yeah, we're going to sing that song. Praise you, the Lord. Praise you. It is sanctuary. Praise you. In the firmament of his power, power. Praise you, the Lord. Praise you. It is sanctuary, praise you. It's the power of His power. Praise the Lord, praise you. It is sanctuary, praise you. It's the power of His power. Praise the Lord. Praise you, it is sanctuary, praise you, it is a power of his power, oh that man will praise the Lord, oh that man will praise the Lord, for his goodness and for his wonderful work. To the children of men, to the children of men, all his goodness and for his wonderful work. To the children of men, to the children of men, he has broken the gates of brass and called the bars of iron in stone. He has broken the gates of brass. I call the bass of a yard, he is on the immortal God, invisible God, immortal God, and great power, immortal God, invisible God, immortal God, and great power, immortal God, invisible God, immortal God. And great our immortal God, invisible God, immortal God, and great our Amen. 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 We want to pray tonight. We want to call upon the Lord. And I'm return back again to Psalm 91. We are going to pick it one by one in Psalm 91. I read from verse 1. He said, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow, shadow, just the shadow, shadow of the Almighty God. 
shadow of the everlasting God, shadow of the great God. We want to pray for ourselves. Look at it. He said, He that dwelleth in the secret place. You are going to pray and say, God of heaven, O oh Lord, I want to constantly abide, constantly dwell, and consistently dwell in your sacred place. Oh God, Lord, do it once again for me, oh God. Every day in the out 24 7. Open your mouth and begin to ask the Lord and say, God, oh Lord, I want to constantly dwell in your secret place. Lord, help me, my father, once again. Pray, open your mouth and begin to pray. Pray your way. Even through it, the secret place of the Most High God. Are you praying now? Are you praying? Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Open your mouth and begin to pray to God and say, God, oh Lord, let me to abide, oh God, in the secret place of the Most High. And abide under the shadow of your wings, oh God, 24-7, in the day, in the night, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at all times, in all circumstances, when I'm on the road, when I'm traveling, open your mouth and begin to pray to God and say, Oh Lord, that divine supernatural connection, that God will connect us together with Him every day, 24 hours. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the Lord. Let's ask the Lord and say, God of heaven, oh Lord, help me once again by your grace, oh God. To constantly dwell, oh God, in your sacred place, a place of holiness, a place of righteousness, a place of purity, a place of power, a place of joy, a place of honor. Of, 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 open your mouth and come upon the name of the Lord. Let's ask God and say, God of heaven, oh Lord, help us once again, oh dear Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name. We are praying. Amen. I told you us, I told us the other time. I say one thing that can disconnect us or that can make us not to be able to receive the favor from God is when there is sin, is when there is iniquity in our lives. No wonder David said, he said, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear. And that's why even Paul told Timothy, his son, he said, if a man therefore purge himself, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified, and made for the master's use and prepared unto every good work. We want to pray tonight. We want to ask God, oh Lord, look into my life once again tonight. Whatever it is that is there in my life that has been hindering us from dwelling in the secret place of the Most High, all those little, little sins, Pride is still there. Envy is still there. You know, all those uh, lust of the eyes is still there. Lust of the flesh is still there. And all manner of things are still there. We want to pray and say, God, Lord, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, purge those things out of me, O Lord, this night. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord tonight. I want to hear us pray, brethren. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord. Let's unmute ourselves so that we can hear ourselves. Open your mouth and pray. It's a time to pray and seriously call upon the name of the Lord. We want to dwell in the secret place of the Most High. Sin cannot dwell there. Unrighteousness cannot dwell there. Iniquity cannot dwell there. Why don't you open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord and say, God, oh Lord, put out all the old level of sin. Oh Lord, all oh those filled in of the flesh, filthiness of the spirit, oh God, begin to cleanse them out of me, oh God, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ this night. In the name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, God, I'm asking once again, oh Lord, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, help me. In this day, we are praying. Amen. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. You know, look at it very well. It will be a fatal accident if somebody started this year in the presence of God, and then you want to end it in the presence of the devil. I don't know how that one look like. You understand? Somebody started this year, you started with all fervency in your spirit, man, and then 
towards the end of the year, you are getting colder and you are becoming lukewarm and you are becoming oh no, insensitive to the spirit of God, that is, a, that is a very fatal thing to do. And then somebody that started in the spirit at the beginning of this year and is almost ending it in the flesh, we want to pray to God. Oh God of heaven, oh Lord, I started this year in your presence. I want to end it in your presence, oh God. Lord, and even beyond, many years to come, Lord, if Jesus tarries in his coming, open your mouth and begin to pray. We want to abide, we want to dwell in your very, in your pray, very presence. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord tonight. Let's ask the Lord and say, God of heaven, oh Lord, help us once again. Let's call upon the name of God. We cannot afford to start in, I mean, to start the year in the spirit and end it in the flesh. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord this night and come and say, God, help me once again. I want to end it well. Oh, gracious God, I want to end it well, my Father. When you started the year, you found favor in the eyes of the Lord. How about it now? Are you still in favor with God? Or are you in favor with God? Open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord and say, God, Gracious God, help me once again, oh dear Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, at the beginning, I started this the spirit, I want to end it in your very presence, oh God, I want to end it in a sound and strong in the power of the spirit of God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh dear Father, God, help me once again, oh Lord, righteous God, help us once again, my Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. You know, look at it very well, brethren. Many people, they started among our brethren, among believers, people of God that profess that they are Christians. They started this year in the fullness of God's power. <clears throat> and they promise God a lot of things. I will do this. I will evangelize. I will pray for this number of hours. I will read my Bible. I will do this one. I will visit. I will do, I will do follow up. And I will consecrate more. But do you know, as the year is running to an end, many have lost their power. Many have lost their zeal. In fact, they started with power. And they are ending the year in powerlessness. We want to pray that will not be our portion. God, we started well with the fullness of God's grace and power. So likewise, we want to end it, you know, in a double fold of the fullness of God's power. Open your mouth and begin to pray to God tonight. Let's ask God and say, God of heaven, oh Lord, you help me to start this year in the fullness of your strength and power in the fullness of your grace, in the fullness of the anointing. So likewise, oh God, I want to end it in the presence of God. I want to end it in the fullness of God's grace, in the fullness of God's anointing and power. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's thank God and say, Father, God, ask God, 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 Open your mouth and talk to the Lord and say, God of heaven, Lord, once but again, I, you help me to start this year in the I fullness of your strength and strong. power. So, oh, Lord, help me once again, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, I can help you. Lord, I will make focus on you. Amen. 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 He said, I will say of the Lord, is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him will I trust. He said, surely, surely, take note of that. Surely, he shall deliver thee, he shall deliver me, he shall deliver you, he shall deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. We are going to pray tonight. Lord, Deliver us from the snare, from the trap of the enemy. Amen. All the trap that the enemy is setting here and there. And they want you to fall into sin. 
He wants you to be to become a backslider, and he wants you to fall into one trouble, one degree of trouble or problem here and there. You are going to pray and say, God, deliver me, O oh God, from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome and pestilence. Open your mouth and begin to pray now. Let's open our mouth and call upon the Lord. In the name your mouth of and keep the face of God and say, God of heaven, O oh Lord, deliver me with the game by your mighty power. From all the from the state of the town and from the noise zone pestilence in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and ask the Lord and say, God, we to God that will deliver us, including your family members. Remember your wife, remember your children, remember all your acquaintances, remember all the close relations all together and say, God of heaven, oh Lord, deliver everyone connected unto me from the state of the Father, and from the noise, no pestilence, oh God, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, we are praised. Amen. A lot of things have been happening, amen. A lot of things have been happening of recent, and uh, the enemy is on rampage. Attacking many people's life with different degrees of sicknesses. One of it, top on the list, which I've observed is you hear that this one is having cancer of the breast, cancer, cervical cancer, cancer of this one, cancer of that one, arrows upon arrows being fired into the life of people, noise zone pestilence, sicknesses of the Egyptian. It did not even end it here. Some are already plagued with high blood pressure. Some are having one affliction that you cannot even describe. We want, and it was not like this before. Many, many years ago, in fact, you see us very healthy, sound and strong in the bone, in the marrow, everywhere, all over. We want to pray tonight. We want to tell the Lord, every arrow of sickness that has been fired, into the life of the people of God. We want to pray tonight by the power of God, by reason of the anointing. Everything will be neutralized in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Every hour of sickness, fire into my body, fire into the life of your people. Be neutralized in the name of Jesus. Be neutralized in the name of Jesus. Every hour of cancer, every hour of high blood pressure, we neutralize you in the name of Jesus. Every form of arrow that is fire that is into our lives, into our body, into our soul, into our marrow, into our blood, into our cell, into our tissue, into our organ, in the name of Jesus, into our system, in the name of Jesus, we neutralize you, we neutralize you, we neutralize you, you speak arrow, you speak arrow, you speak arrow, you diabolical arrow, we neutralize you, in the name of Jesus, we neutralize you, with the blood of Jesus, we neutralize you, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, we neutralize you, we cast you out, it is for your existence. In the name of Jesus, you will not be stuck in our lives. In the name of Jesus, Amen. We are going to pray Amen. once again, brethren. I'm reading from verse four. Look at verses four, verses five, and verses six. He said, "He shall cover thee with his feather." Amen. Amen. He said, "He, God Almighty, the everlasting God, the omnipotent God." The great I am that I am. He said he will cover us with his feathers. And under his wing shall thou trust. Then he said his truth shall be our shield and buckler. He said thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. That means there are terrors by night. Not only that, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day. Not for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. Not for the destruction that wasted at noon day. Our life will not be wasted. Amen. I said our lives will Amen. not be wasted. 
Amen. Amen. I want to pray tonight and say, God of heaven, oh Lord, whether there is terror in the darkness in the night, or arrows by the day, or pestilences that walk in darkness or destruction here and there, they will not come near us in the name of Jesus Christ. Open Amen. your mouth and begin to pray. And say, God, the Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Over my wife, my over children, my I move to verse 10. Psalm 91, verse 10. He said, There shall no evil before thee. Amen. 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 No evil will befall us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. For the remaining part of this year and for, for many years, for 2024, all through by the grace of God, from January to December 2024, no evil, no calamity, no sorrow will be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Open your mouth and turn it to prayer, my brother. Open oh, your mouth and pray. I come before there you, Father. I come before 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 I <laughs> 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 I want you to look at verse 11 very closely. Verse 11, there is something I want to bring out from there. He said, For he shall give his angels charge over thee. That's why no evil will be able to come near us. That's why there will be no plague that will come near us because he will give his angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways i remember in the days gone by when I, when i was still very young in this church by the that's early 90s you'll be you'll be hearing that they kidnap you know some of our children and all that and some of our people here and there but the moment they mention and say they are from this particular place of worship and all that and they are from this church you know they will see fire and before you know, because at that time, let me tell you, many of our people, many of our members, they enjoy the ministry of the angels. Why not now? Why not at this time? We want to pray and say, God, oh Lord, we want to enjoy the ministry of the angels again. As it used to be in the days gone by, that in the day, the night to God, they will watch over us. They will keep us in all our ways. When we are traveling, they are there with us. On the street, they are there with us. In our workplaces, they are there with us. When somebody puts something on the chair, either in your workplace, and they want to use that thing to hypnotize you or to charm you, because you are enjoying the ministry of the angels, no evil will be able to come there. We want to pray and say, God, Holy Father, we want to enjoy the ministry of the angels once again. Shall we turn it to prayer, my brethren? Open your mouth and begin to pray now. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Holy Father, I trust God, we want to enjoy the ministry of the angel because we said, for it shall be the angel's child of God. We want to be charged over us. They will keep us in the day. They will keep us in the night. 
with Luke chapter 10 verse 19. He said, Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. The mm. young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under feet. And it shall be so in Jesus' name. Amen. In Luke chapter 10 verse 19, he said, Behold, I give unto you power. Power to tread upon serpent and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemies. And nothing shall by enemies out of us. We want to pray tonight and say, God, I receive that power. Power to tread upon serpent and scorpion. Power to tread upon the lions and the adder. The power to tread upon the dragon and to trample them under my feet. Open your mouth and receive that power now. Open your mouth and begin to receive that authority and power from heaven right now. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Precious God, everlasting Father, I will say again, oh God, precious God, I receive that power, the power to tread upon serpent and scorpions over all the powers of the enemies, and nothing shall be enemies of me. In the name of Jesus Christ, the power of the God, so the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in verse 14 he said, because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high. I, I love that. I will set him on high. Meaning that our promotion is on the way. Promotion Amen. is coming. Elevation is coming. In fact, Amen. God is about to honor you right now. We are Amen. going to pray. Don't say, I will honor them that honor me. You have been praying. You have been tired for people. You have been seeking the face of, of, of God, even on behalf of others. And they have been getting their miracles here and yet we are going to pray. God, my time of honor has come. My time of promotion has come. My time of elevation has come. Open your mouth and begin to pray and say, God, do it once again. Because the husband man that laboreth must be first partake of the fruit. Can you open your mouth and begin to turn it to prayer now? Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. I say, God of heaven, O oh Lord, according to your word, Lord, set me on high, O oh God. Let there be supernatural elevation, supernatural promotion, even in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Father, once again, bring it to pass, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Now we are going to tell the Lord, we are going to ask God. You have not prayed that prayer very well. Look at that verse 15. He said, He shall call upon me. That's what we are doing now. We are calling upon the Lord. We are praying unto the Lord. He said, And I will answer him. He has assured us. He said, I will answer you. I will be with him in trouble. I don't know what you are passing through. I don't know the challenge that is confronting you, maybe in your family. 
maybe in your business, maybe in your career, maybe concerning your health, maybe concerning your wife, maybe concerning your children. He said, I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. You are going to pray and say, God, Emmanuel, God with us. Oh Lord, abide with me and be with me, oh God, and deliver me and honor me. The seed of greatness, put it in my life. Open your mouth and begin to pray now. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. Seed of greatness, in the name of Jesus. Seed of greatness, in the name of Jesus. With me, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. We want to pray, we want to call upon the name of the Lord. Look at that verse 16 there. He said, with long life will I satisfy you. Amen? Amen. God said he's going to satisfy you and I, meaning that there will be no premature death among us. Amen. Maybe that there will be no untimely death among us. We want to pray. We are going to tell the Lord, Oh God, honor your word in my life. Satisfy me with long life. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Yeah, Open your mouth and begin to call upon the name and say, God, oh Lord, honor your, life, oh honor your word in my life, oh God. Satisfy me with long life. Oh God, with long life. Before I hand over to our pastor to take over now. I look at 2 Timothy chapter 4. Please just turn your Bible. It's a prophetic statement. And you're going to use it any way you are. You will read it out for yourself, to yourself. And then we are going to use it to pray unto the Lord for ourselves. You are prophesying concerning your life, concerning your wife, concerning your children, concerning your family, concerning your acquaintances. And look at 2 Timothy chapter 4 in verse 18. 2 Timothy, the end, chapter 4. I'm going to read verse 18. He said, and the Lord shall deliver me. Personalize it yourself. The Lord shall deliver me from every evil work. A lot of things that the enemy is cooking against your life, against your wife, against your children, against your family, against your acquaintances, against your business, against your finances, against everything pertaining to your life. He said, and the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Open your Amen. mouth and begin to make a decree. And personal and say, God, oh Lord, deliver me from every evil work, every agenda of the enemy, the devil, all those assemblies of wicked people, all the assemblies of the forces of darkness, every conspiracy in the air, on the ground, in the water, every activities of the devil. You want to pray, say, God, deliver me from all those, all those, uh, you know, conspiracies and all the thinking up of the enemy. Open your mouth and begin to pray now. He said, and the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and ask the Lord and say, God of heaven, O Lord, Lord, deliver me by your mighty power. Preserve me once again by your mighty hand, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. 
In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Can we have Pastor Peter to round up this section of prayers? Pastor Peter. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Our Father and our God, we worship and bless the name for your goodness. We thank you for your hand upon us. As unto you, we pray that at times like this, you stand by us, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, you have equally reassured us today through our Father and the Lord's message online that no matter what is happening around us, we will see with our eyes, we will hear with our ears, we will not come before us. Father, we pray that you fulfill the promises of your word upon our lives, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, Lord God in heaven, all that you are hearing, all that you are seeing, Father, we pray continue to preserve us. Amen. Keep us, O oh Lord, and let your will and perfect will alone be done in our lives, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we lift all this our prayer network, O Lord, into your hands. We pray we continue to uphold us, continue to answer us. Because you said in your word, where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst of them. Father, we pray we continue to answer us so that when answers are fast, people continue to hope more on you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I fully pray for every one of us Amen. online this night and those of us that are not online. Any area we are looking up to you, say, Lord, where is this going to happen? When is that going to happen? Lord, I pray speedily. Answer us, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank you for servant you have used this night. We pray that you restore him and refill him back on that fold, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, Amen. for the answer prayers, O Lord. Thank in you, Lord. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Let's praise the name of the Lord because of Amen. the amazing day in India. Let's open our mouth. Let's praise the name of the Lord. Let's thank God for what God has done for. Father, we you thank you for our own father, the GS, Pastor W.F. Kumuyi, for the glory. For many of us, when we are at the um, uh, teenager or uh, small, what we know India for during those periods is the uh, talisman. We, we send a uh, message to them, they will send book for us, for some rings, for some things. I We don't buy it, but I remember I have some friends. But we always say this in their book, in their book. All what we know them for is a talisman. But you can see what God did, how God is taking that glory. Look at the color man in front of our GS, when GS is preaching. This cannot be done by Uma Ben by God. Uh, things have been seen in the overseas, in the Europe, and then all over other uh, white people country now. That uh, they brought ministry unto us, but we are reviving ministry to them. We let them know what the ministry uh, is. There are something that is taboo. In Africa, we are the white brought ministry. For here, it's like you are using water to wash your hands. Very free. Very free. And then to them, uh, God is not so... Uh, I don't want to use her the way we take it. But let's pray, let, let's open our mouth and praise the name of the Lord. That during our own time, that revival has started. Open your mouth, glorify the name of the Lord. Mighty Thank God for what God has done in the life of our GS. When you listen to one of his messages, he said, if it is in Nigeria, uh, it's not, I don't, I may, my parapet may not be so good. 
He said, in my age, many people have retired, <laughs> but I keep firing. Let's praise the name of the Lord because of his life. Let's glorify his name because of his life. Let's thank him. Let's praise the name of the Lord. For God, how God is using our Father in the Lord. For how God has said name to be our own Father in the Lord. Many people want that opportunity, they do not have it. And listen to one of his messages, he said, because of you, he was talking to us, and because of you, I sacrificed a lot of things. I will apply my certificate and sit down somewhere, believing in the Lord, take care of my children, and continue to serve the Lord and make it to the heaven. But he said, because of you, I'm, I'm, I, I don't want to use something. But with the language the GS was trying to use for that day, that I, I'm passing through a lot all because of you. He said one day, he said, I was preparing the Bible study, and I was eating, and the food was falling down my hand. So let's thank you because of the life of our GS. Let's praise the name of the Lord. For all what God has been doing in his life, let's thank him, let's thank God, let's thank him. Uh, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the joy of the Lord will continue to be uh, with his The mighty hand of the Lord will continue to be in strength. Let's pray for him. Let's pray for him. Let's pray for him. I think there was a day we were discussing about him in the campus. Uh, and then we are discussing about the holiness of Jesus Christ. And one of our brothers said, You know what? This GS you are talking about is the Look at all what happened in the in the in, the, in, the, in the India. Yes, he has to not let any day cease his attention. Despite all what is happening, he was so focused. He doesn't bother what people will say, what people are saying, what what we want to God. He, he was so focused on what come to do. He he, he can't all that thing as a as a as a psychic. Let's praise the name of the Lord for how God make him strong to be who he is. Let's glorify the name of the Lord. Let's praise the name of the Lord because of him, because of the glory of the Lord upon him, because of the mighty hand of the Lord upon him, because of what God is doing in his life, because of the grace. I'm telling you, by the time the message was, I mean, I think it was on Sunday, you can see, he said that the preachers is a game. The force has gone, but that was the mighty message he preached. That our fathers, our our, our Lord Father. We just praise the name of the Lord for the grace and abundant mercy upon him, the abundant grace upon him. I thank God because God has been has been selected. He has me elected. And let's praise the name of the Lord. Let's pray for him that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the glory of the Lord will continue to shine upon him. He has just started. He has just started. He has just started. He has just started. That by the power and the Almighty God will continue to equip him. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, he will continue to go from fame to fame. Be ritually in the name of Jesus Christ. Physically in the name of Jesus Christ. Materially in the name of Jesus Christ. The glory of the Lord will continue to be upon him. The mighty of the Lord will continue to be upon him. Then pay for all the resources we need for this week. Oh, in one of the, the one of the GCK where he was preaching the one of the our uh, uh, one of the uh, the moderator said you know the only thing he needs is prayer he doesn't need anything he has come back he said no I need something I need something to let the GCK fly let's call upon the name of the Lord that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ all the resources GCK need by the power of God is going to provide in the name of Jesus Christ Almighty God will continue to provide in the name of Jesus Christ let's call upon the name of the Lord by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ let's pray for him let's pray for him let's thank him that the labor of our GS is not in vain the labor of our GS upon us upon the, upon the generation to generation, upon the country to country, or nation to nation, is not in vain. Let, let's praise the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to take that one as a prayer, a prayer request on our hand. 
we continue to pray for him and the grace of the Lord will continue to be upon him in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me see this decade that is coming up in Lagos. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, it will be father of all father of this decade in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That by the, all the resources, all what they need, the way they think, the way they do not think, as God is providing for all other country, and that that is becoming mighty. Look at that. Look at that GCK in India. You, if we say the deeper life have been there for longer year, you, you you will say, I mean, you will you will not you will not argue with us. Now let's come back to Lagos. That by the power in the blood of the, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the significance of headquarters spiritually, materially, uh, physically, that is necessary. To be another example for another GCK that we call, that we come over, that by the power and the blood God is going to do it in Lagos in Jesus' name. Let's Amen. open our mouth. Let's pray for let's pray for all GCK in Lagos. I know the workers in the Lagos now they must have they are thinking as they are jubilating that the ark of the Lord is moving to them. And we will see some people that will be checking their pockets. We will see some people that will be. Checking their account. We will be seeing some people that will be checking their hands. That how am I going to do it? I must be a blessing to the DCK. Let's call upon the name of the Lord for all the workers in Lagos. Let's pray for all the God who have been blessed for the Lord for all the pastors in Lagos. Let's pray for all the great for the Lord for all the leaders in Lagos. Let's pray for all the people who are not what we not working on or in for. But God has Bless them in deep allah. Let's pray for everyone on earth. That by the power in the blood of the spirit of evil, God will give to everyone for everyone that God will give to everyone for. And they are evil, they are planting. A million for by the power and the blood of Jesus, God is going to give to them in the name of Jesus Christ. God is going to give to them in the name of Jesus Christ. God is going to give to them in the name of Jesus Christ. God is going to Give to them in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord for all our pastors. The working pastor that they are working for DMBC that I mean as a people are working as a as a volunteer. Those people who are working who are not in full collecting full time salary. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, as GTK is coming Lagos, God will in the name of Jesus Christ. God is coming away in the name of Jesus Christ. All activity, all what how are we going to do it? That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ is a, a game of the Lord. It's a ball of the Lord that God himself will play. It's a project of the Lord that God himself will execute. It's a plan of the Lord that God himself will establish. Let's pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. By the power and the blood for all our leaders, for all our workers in Lagos, for all the members of the church in Lagos, that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, in miraculous way, God will open way for them in the name of Jesus Christ. God will open way for them in the name of Jesus Christ. God will open way for them in the name of Jesus They will not lack to give. They will not lack to give. They will not give out of strength. They will not give out of us. No, I don't know, but let me just give this. They will give out of abundance. They will give us the plenty. That by the power and the blood of Jesus, it's just because of GCK. God will continue to go with that complete for way for them in the name of Jesus Christ. And the name of the Lord is going to be glorified. And the name of the Lord is going to be glorified. There will be a more I mean, there will be some plus. After the program has finished in the name of Jesus Christ. This is not done. We will have done this. This you have been done. But the power will not be the will not be the them in the name of Jesus Christ. God will do it. God is there with bankrupt the project. God is there with God with bankrupt the project in the name of Jesus Christ. God is there with bankrupt the project in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 You can pray, I always pray. And I've been telling many people. I, I used to pray that prayer. That Father... 
Uh, I thank God in my family, I'm the head of my family. It's some little, little thing, I'm, I'm the head. But in a lot of things, I'm a pillar. You get what I'm saying? Without yeah. pillar, head is useless. Head cannot do anything. It is when the pillar is strong, the head is strong. You now call upon the name of Lord, the Lord. A lot of us uh, do not misconduct, we are pillar. That hold the church. That do a lot of things in the church. If our pillar is weak, the church is weak. Yes, we, we, there may be a lot of pillars. Yeah. Many pillars are not, they are insignificant. Nobody takes note of them. We now call upon the name of the Lord. Oh, my father has the head in one part or, or the area of the church. Or oh, other has a pillar. Father, make me significant in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to open the name of, open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. The Almighty Father, Ada has a head. When we are talking about the head, we can talk about uh, about uh, 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 we, we mention it. We can talk about our pastor, Pastor Peter. The head in the security. So when we are talking about GCK in general, it's a pillar. They, 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 they need him. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Ada, where I am a head, or Ada, where I am a pillar. Let's call upon the Name of the Lord. Let me be significant in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me be significant in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me be significant in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me be significant in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, provide for me, O Lord. By the power in the blood of Jesus, let my presence be free. Let my presence be free. Let my presence be free. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want you to know the pattern of this prayer very well. <laughs> Italy, I was watching one of the one of those uh, woman evangelists uh, or whatsoever. So he wanted to do she wanted to do a program and she called another person from another religion. I know I, I know what we stand for. I'm just making an example. By the time he called that person in the morning, I don't call for call. The program is called me around ten. He called the person, oh, my dear brother, we want to do this program by this time, by this time. And, and please, I know what I stand for, but I want you to know that there's power in the blood of Jesus Christ than any other thing. So I don't want us to misquote me, but I want you all to look at what I'm saying positively. And I said, oh, you want to do this and you do not let me hear. Okay. Then we send two cow to you. I don't want to exaggerate. Well, maybe the more than two cow. But let me mention two cow. And then they will give you this millions of naira to support the program. Just in that morning. The person was not a member. He was even under religion. And then by the bottom I the person come to the to the to the meeting, if you see the way the woman pray for for him. And he said, well, most of you, you will say that uh, these people will not make the kingdom of God. Ah, is he not going to make the kingdom of God because he's providing for that, he's providing for program he wants to do for uh, for salvation. No, let, let's leave that one alone. But what, what, that one, what do I want to say? Is that if God wants to make you a pillar, he will bless you to the extent that out of what you have, it has blessed you, you will use for the GCK. You mm. get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Because God knows that you need the money. And then he cannot give you one million and go and donate the one million. Even your, I told my, all our, our mom, he will call you that, daddy. So you know we have not paid the school fees of the Lagbaja. And then you know uh, we have not paid the house rent. I know that God is going to reward us. Uh, uh, God has been doing a lot for us. But instead of donating this one million, why can't you just let us make it 500000 naira? So that by the time we use this, you too, you know that the, the, the consequence is coming back to you. You don't do this Because the second day we wake you up. If you mistakenly donate that money, we wake you up. Daddy, that, that what about the school fees? What about the house rent? But if it is five million, and then nobody even know that you, you have that money, and then you, you, you donate one million, then, uh, can't you see abundant blessing? Four million extra. Why? Because God wants to use you. That's why those people who always pray that God use me, they are more blessed in any area than people who are just stingy. But when you are praying that God bless me, use me for this program, use me for you, God knows that you, you have your own name too. He will add everything because he knows that you are going to be faithful. You are going to be truthful. If I try to give you those things for, to use for the, for the program,
program. So you like call upon the name of the Lord. Father, yes. I'm a pillar. GS is going to preach. Many people is going to come. The, uh, the people are going to be housed. The people are going to provide money for. for. But Father, what I'm asking is this. Among those people who are, you are going to use for GCK, say, Father, I'm calling upon your name. Use me. Thank you. Use me. A good example for you. Look at those people God used in the Bible. God used Joshua. Do you know how many, how many pictures that he provided for him? Look at all this. Oh, the, look, at, uh, look at all the people God used in the Bible. Look at John the Baptist. God provided a disciple for him. So automatically, when God wants to use the resources you need, God is going to provide for you. That's why I want you that to pray very well. The Almighty Father, I call upon your name. By the power and the blood, among those people you are going to use for this GCK, pray. Father, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Use me. Call upon the name of the Lord. Open your mouth. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. My dear Father, do not close your mouth. My dear sister, do not. It's not too late. It's not too late. You can be used. You can be used. You can not let me deceive you. You cannot be deceived. You cannot be deceived. In tomorrow, in people of our eyes, when the Holy Lord is called to me, get what I'm saying very well. But I said this one, sir, God, where they are asking for one thousand dollars, where they are asking for one thousand dollars, let me be able to contribute that one thousand dollars. Ask of ease. Where they are asking for one thousand dollars, let me be able to contribute that one thousand dollars. I'm just making an example. Where they are asking for one million, you that in position of donating one million, let me be able to go donate one million. Ask of ease. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Pray for me, pray for yourself. Pray for me, pray for yourself. Pray for yourself, pray for me. For everyone on the line, that by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, God say I'll separate you to use you. God will use some mighty play in the name of Jesus Christ. God will use some mighty play in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, use me, O Lord. In this district, use me, O Lord. Father, pray by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, use me. Yeah. I am use me, O Lord. King of King, use me, O Lord. For the Jesus Almighty Father, use me, O Lord. Almighty Father, use me, O Lord. Make me a significant pillar in the name of Jesus Christ. Make me a significant pillar in the name of Jesus Christ. Make me a significant pillar in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't let my pillar be rotten. Don't let my pillar be rotten. Don't let my pillar be rotten. Don't let my pillar be separated from the good one in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't let them International program, especially especially as far now he has gone to the he has gone to Asia, he has become more. I, I wish you come and see my 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 YouTube. They watch it in Iraq, they watch it in India, they watch they watch it. Many countries you can never think of. Muslim country, I was thinking maybe because of the way they see are in India. They, you know what I'm saying? Go come and see. Come come and come and see. Now look at how it has become. They call one country seventh. Some of the country I've never had in my life. You will see them. And if you want me to copy, I will copy it to Facebook. You will see. So you will now call upon the name of the Lord. This program has become international program. Man, I mean, not inter African country co co program now. We are not talking about. We are moving from Nigeria to Ghana to Sierra Leone. We are talking about Asia. Do you know how, how populous they are in that Asia? Can you talk about China? Can you talk about uh, uh, Japan? Can you talk about uh, India? Can you talk about their population alone? Now we call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power and the blue Lord, as they are, as they are planning. Look at heaven. How heaven is beautiful. 
that by the power and the blood, spiritually, physically, materially, the ACC will be beautiful in Jesus' name. Open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord. Go open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord. That wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, the material that is needed, that everything that is needed to promote the spiritual life of that area. So, a unique, what we have to say, yes, I'm able. Mean, do not, do not forget, there's no, there's no poor, there's no, 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 I don't want to, I want to speak grammar again. There's no poverty in Evo. Not for the name of the law. The road will be fine. The tent will be fine. Every area will be fine. The whole side will look fine. Every area will look fine. But that the, the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, the spiritual realm of that area will be beyond understanding. Let's call upon the name of the law. The blood of Jesus Christ. We put the all the people God is going to use, including all the material, everything that is needed to be used in this game for this game in Lagos. God is going to make it beautiful. God is going to make it beautiful. God is going to make it beautiful. In Jesus' name we pray. Take care of our time. I'm very sorry. Many of us are listening to the one of the GS message. He said he visited one pastor. Then when he visited the pastor, the pastor showed him his empire. Now said, "Please, if I'm lying, many of us will, will must have listened to that message. How do you want me to see? I will be praying for you to go to heaven. Why? He shut up. He just started. But I'm calling upon. We will call upon the name of the Lord. As this decay is coming up." By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. But materially and spiritually, materially, everything. Because the Bible lets us know we are seeking for the kingdom of God. And all other things shall be added unto you. We are seeking for the kingdom of God by deciding, by, by deciding to organize that GCK in Lagos. All other things that is necessary to succeed, God will provide in Jesus' name. And so shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want you back, Pastor Peter, conclude for us. I'm very sorry to take our time. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Our Father, we worship you once again for the great things you have been doing through your church and through your servant, our Father and the Lord, Pastor Tobias Kumuyi. We thank you for the GCK that was just concluded in India. Father, truly we marvel. At first, when it was announced, I was in doubt. I said, will it be possible that GCK will be held in India? How would, it, how would that be possible? But we saw the crowd of people. I listened to a testimony of one man. He said, I've never had the gospel preached this way before, that I'm so happy for this, for this organization, according to his words. And he said, it's going to continue with this organization. Father, we just thank you for what we are hearing. We thank you, Lord, for what you have seen. We say glory, honor, adoration, and thank you be unto your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, we commit the souls that were added to your kingdom. Father, when we read the book of Acts, we saw that when Peter the Apostle preached that message, the Bible says 5,000 men were added unto the church. And they continue to go in and out together, having fellowship and great things happen among them. Oh Lord, you know we are praying through this GCK, the souls that are being added to your kingdom. Father, we pray that your spirit will help us to retain them so that they will not just Amen. come out and go back to the world again in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And Lord, we thank you for the GCK that is breaking through all over the world. Like Pastor Matthew just said, there are some names of countries he has never even had. Oh Lord God in heaven, you said in your word, until this goes to get to the four corner of the earth, you will not come. And Lord God in heaven, you know, like in the time of the Bible days, uh, said the Macedonia people were calling, come to Macedonia and help us. And I add, long time ago, that a lot of Nigerian black uh, 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 people who are missionary has gone to that Macedonia and a lot of revival is happening there. Oh Lord, in heaven, we thank you for this program you have just brought through 
your church and your servants. We pray that you continue to uphold and sustain this program, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we know that this decay is capital intensity. Like the one that was heard in Korodu, I was I was privileged to hear that more than 200 million was spent on organizing that GCK. Not to now talk about going outside the shore of Africa. A lot of money is involved. Father, we are praying, O oh Lord, that you raise up men and women in the church that we stand as pillars to so, uh, to sustain this program so that your, your world continue to move mightily around the world. Every month that the start is doing it, raise men, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Among us in this prayer network, O oh Lord, make us great men that will be pillars in this time, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. This is is back to the headquarters church in Lagos. But then, everyone, we are praying that more than what we saw the last time in this CK was held in Lagos. Father, do at this time, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we make your servant, Pastor W.F. Moe, Lord, into your hand. We know it's over 82, going 83 now. We are praying for more strength, my God, to be upon him. Like it was with uh, Moses in his time, that he owed the ministry from the age of 80 to the age of 120 years. Oh Lord, so he never, and we read in the Bible, that his eyes never went in, his legs never fizzled out. He was heavy and strong, moving mightily and doing great exploit for you. Father, we use that grace to pray for our Father in the Lord, Pastor W.F. Kumuye, that more than what you did for Moses, O oh Lord, you will do for him, his eyes, his hands, his legs, do not without, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. O oh Lord, thank you for our mommy, Esther, that uh, you have been using mightily too in the ministry, using her to do great exploits amongst all of us. But I will pray that your grace will continue to be upon her. You will continue to rest upon her. And great and mighty things will continue to happen to her. And that as she grows also in age, but that you also go in grace, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, finally, I want to pray for all of us on this night. O oh Lord, visit us. Connect Amen. us. Amen. And Amen. all that great, great, that as we go into this new week, O oh Lord, we come back with great testimony in our list, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. And by the morning, as we come together again for the men's prayer, Lord, we pray that you do new things among us. You will strengthen our families and you make our family prosperous, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank in you. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. We shall meet in the night by the grace of the Lord for the divine intervention. And uh, uh, thank you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Happy GCK. Very successful program. God will bless every one of us. Let's share the grace together. Let's share the grace together. The grace of the Lord. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The love of God. And the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, surely, and shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall join the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. All GCK message, this is our youth. God bless you all. God bless you all. Good night, sir. Good night. We are delayed to share me in our family, in our church, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you.